I'm a singer, eternal voice, your YouTube content creator, your social media influ influencer with regards to health science also. Okay, nasapit ang dila mga palanga. <laughs> so, a proof that I've been doing this for on the spot. Okay, I don't prepare. But I've studied, I research, I read. What I try to point out is I don't really organize. Uh, words that came out in my mouth, okay, it's things like that. I don't have to prepare what to say, blah, 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 but I'll just study the, the specific topic and then I will be the one in my full convenience and comfortability the way how it should be conveyed to the audience. I will convey the message, then it's up to me how can I deliver my communication. Sometimes I will be posing, posing with P A U S I N G, not the pose that you do the selfie. Okay, it's also uh, the sound will have the same sound, but not the same spelling. Posing and posing. Okay, the P O S E and the P A U S E have different meanings, right? It would matter na talaga in pronunciation. You get the point. So sometimes there will be a little bit of uh, stoppages, stopping of the tila, and the twirl, twirling of the tongue. <laughs> Twirling ng kulikot ng tila, something like that. You get the point? Okay. Uy, nakakaloka. I have still to get my coffee. Char. Guys, I have here... Oh my gosh, nakakaloka. Due to my experimentation, I already tasted, uh, you know, French... French coffee, okay, now converted to Italian, Italy, made in Italy, Italian co coffee. So I'll, I'll keep on experimenting which of them have a very nice ta taste, <laughs> because there are also two, the test, T-A-S-T, -T, and the taste, T-A-S-T-E, -E. again, okay, rhyme, right? The spelling has different meanings. The spelling is, is also different, but the sound, Quite, quite a little bit the same, okay? So, something like matters a lot also when you speak, right? Okay? But not that really, okay? Because if you understand the sentence, that could be understandable already sometimes, right? Okay? Because you are not perfect. Masapid yun atong dila. Really? Masapid yun atong dila because you know, my accent is really a Bisaya. I'm a pure Cebuano. <laughs> Something like that. Do not be denied. You balik to the Cebuano language, the way I, how I talk. Something like that. Okay, that's normal, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, going back to my topic. It's funny, right? Okay, so we have our topic eating bacon can cause cancer such as. Breast cancer for women, back, okay, and power cancer for everybody, uh, regardless of ages, okay. And then we have the prostate cancer for men, okay, like that. So actually, my source that I really uh, research, we should maintain uh, eating at least uh, seventy grams per day. How can we compute that? It's not also practical to keep to keep on computing day by day because we don't have the weighing platform always to measure how much or how, what is the amount of food we eat. It, for me, it's practically not really uh, scientific or doable. Okay, get the point. Uh, hi, sorry, highly scientific but not practicable or doable. Okay, meaning to say not really. The, <laughs> Not really the, the, the usual case to be done to, to all people in the planet Earth. It looks like uh, awkward to do that kind of thing, okay? Since you are not really a, a measuring device, you don't have the measuring device in your room, something like that, or in your bed. So for me, just only an idea that's going to be 70 grams per day of this type of food, bacon, okay? okay? It's the limit. Meaning you don't have to exceed. To ensure, to be general, do not eat all the time. Okay? Do not eat in excess because you will feel that also if you eat too much, right? That's the point. Things like that already because it's not practical to measure. 
We are not also, uh, <laughs> we are not always going to the doctor also to check the level of our, for example, our nitrite level because it's our purely driven in nitrate chemical. I'll, I'll explain to you the chemical reactions, what will be happening, and to produce uh, nitrosamines chemical, the organic, organic compounds. It's also very, very important to know. Okay, this nitrosamines chemical can cause cancer. And this is found in bacon and processed meat foods inside the cans or inside the packed plastic bag you see in the groceries, okay, or in the stores in the market. Okay, and that is the time we will explain what is a nitrosamine, what is a nitrite, blah blah blah. So, so I will show you chemical reaction first. We will go first to the, the causes. The technicalities of the causes, raw materials, and then but then let's go uh, slowly by slowly going to do the, 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 to intensify our discussion going back to the disadvantages, the advantages and disadvantages, and we'll go up. The last will be the disease, the controls and the prevention and the elimination, and the last will be the control measures and the solutions how to avoid these diseases to come in because it's easy to understand already because we have the technical information in the raw materials, the chemical reactions, why it will react to the vital organs, blah, 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 and why it can produce a chemical like this. If we don't, if we don't have an idea like that, how, how can they react there? And at least we, don't, we, we have an idea so that we can control the intake because it's tasteful. Let me shop. Okay, then if we are governed by our emotions and feelings that it's let me shop, delicious, yummy, then we forgot the essence of the chemistry involved in the chemical reactions what will be the effect something like that and there are a lot of toxins that will be found there toxins because generally this uh, you know nitrosamines can produce toxins and then after the toxins it can also drive into a bacteria okay and then the bacteria will destroy your vital organs and that's why this breast cancer will come in uh, bowel, bowel cancer will come in, prostate cancer will come in, like that. Because there are really outlets for the bacteria to stay with. Okay, the free radicals inside our vital organs. Okay, because, you know, we have lack of these nutrients and vitamins to fight with this kind of bacteria. Blah, blah, blah. And our antibodies also are not enough. Antibodies. Okay? And our antigens. As I mentioned over and over again, it's always antibodies antigen, white blood cells, nutrients, minerals, vitamins, okay, that contribute to fight these diseases. So it will help to destroy and kill or eliminate these pathogens, substances, and carcinogens, substances. Basically, carcinogen substances are toxins, okay, most of the time. Not necessarily that pathogens. Pathogens are really... Uh, Cancer-causing diseases, okay, due to the toxics, toxins inside our body, not toxics, called toxins inside our body. Do you get the point? Pathogens. That's why we have a pathology study, okay? It's a branch of medical science that deals with the study of diseases that is pathology, okay? Meaning, they are really studying the pathogens, cancer-causing substances driven by living microorganisms. Bacteria, viruses, like that, parasites, and worm that will try to accumulate in our immune system. Okay? I don't have to go into details in the biology part. Okay? Because I'm not a biologist. <laughs> I'm a chemical engineer. I can promise only that. Chemical reactions, the impact, the raw materials, the control measures, something like that. Okay? You get the point? Oh, ganun siya. Inom sa kong coffee, mga palamba. Oh, ita. Charot. Italian coffee. Oh my gosh. Oh, my brain cells also will not be activated. Okay, if there's no, uh, what do you call this one, guys? There's no hormone. Okay, cold. What do you call this one? Caffeine, right? Caffeine. Okay. Without caffeine, we will be uh, not energized. We need caffeine in our body. And most of the medicines, pharmaceutical products have caffeine because caffeine is a stimulant, okay, to energize 
the tissues and muscles of our brain cells and it will react to the different vital organs to keep us strong. That's why we remain active. Okay, that's why if you keep on drinking coffee, you are always alive because you are energetic and you cannot sleep. That's the reason behind. Because caffeine is a stimulant. Okay? It leads you to be active. Okay. So that's why I'm taking coffee to activate my brain cells. Right? Alam naman matulog akong brain cells. I cannot share information. Get the point? Come on! So caffeine is not limited to coffee. Most of the, you know, uh, pharmaceutical products, medicines have really caffeine, ha? Huh? And some of the substances in sugar body. Okay. Di na sa tapang discuss ako sa formula sa caffeine. Letter lang kayo dito. It's not our topic also. Okay? So many things to discuss. I think trillions of chemical reactions. Nakakaloka. Di ba? Magpilit lang kita, no? Oh, ganon. Di ba? Selective. Okay? Selective. Hmm, masarap ng coffee. Nakakaloka. Lami kayo ka o bingka do. Di pare sa coffee. Bingka and bud bud. You know that terms in Cebuano? Binka and budbud. <laughs> budbud na kamutin kahoy and arabun. And we have also the bibinka na puti and lagun-lagun. <laughs> the binka puti with pinkish at the top or red top circular. <laughs> Small circular pink color at the top of the binka puti la siya. And then also the binkan lagum lagum na pinaliki liki something like that <laughs> in the mercado in which my mother usually bought that in every Sunday, every weekend. We need to eat kakanin during our snacks. And we will be enjoying to eat bud bud and bibinka with matching sequati and also coffee. Coffee with milk, something like that. We are still uh, younger kids, something like that, okay? And sometimes also that would be our breakfast, not really to eat rice sometimes, okay? And then sometimes also pandesal, like that, you know, uh, a bread that is uh, somewhat like an oblong in shape. Not really that oblong that much, because it's not a circle, perfect circle also, so that's why I'm telling you it's a small oblong in shape, okay? That's a pandesal. Something like that, you know, pandesol. The main raw material is sodium bicarbonate. Something like that, a little bit of yeast. Okay, reaction. Okay, to, so that to satisfy our uh, hangry, <laughs> hangriness <laughs> in our, you know, stomach, crying stomach. Crying stomach, Okay. Oh, coffee. The aroma is perfect. Oh my god! Mmm! Kung activate na niya akong brain cells. Okay. Now, okay. So, as we can see all over the world, we have a lot of uh, products. Could either be liquid products and solid products. But we have also gaseous products, but it's not uh, common. It's only for the, let's say, LPG. Okay, like that, the petroleum, right? Petroleum gases that we we'll buy in the market for our, and also we have kerosene, something like that. So, actually, it's seldom only and rare for a uh, gaseous product. But we have also, but not too much compared to solids and liquids products. Uh, solids and liquid products are very common in foods and drinks that we usually intake that in our system to survive in this planet Earth. And this is really the, the things that we need to consider, okay, in this topic. Especially processed meat foods, specifically bacon, okay? Because the study is only for bacon first. But as what I told you earlier, it is common to all meat. Sausage, hot dog, corned beef, meatloaf, something like that. And also the, the meat okay found in the packed uh, plastic right you know that only what i mean right we need to expand for that okay okay then on so our impact will be due to the excessive amounts of nitrosamines that can cause cancers i mentioned already the cancers right breast cancer prostate cancer and bowel can cancer something like that or the stool cancer 
Okay. So if you have excess amount of your natural means, okay. Based in my personal research, there's also a little bit of a uh, gray area. Gray meaning G R E Y, ha? not the gray color. So these are also the same. Uh, you know, that this gonna be a homonym, something like that. Okay, not a homonym, but the sound somewhat the same. Okay, when you say gray and gray, uh, but the pronunciation is different, right? The G R E Y meaning confusion. Unclear, vague, meaning the ambiguity, meaning to say ambiguous, you know, the not, no clarity, uh, not 100% clarity. That's why we have ambiguity, something that you will say, uh, you know, I don't like him because I found it ambiguous to his personality, uh, right? I don't know whether he is a boy or a girl, uh, a tomboy or whatever. So, Ambiguity, ambiguous sexual orientation. We need to see unclear, vague, something like that. You get the point? Or gray, G R E Y. Okay. And you, you will use that all the time also in writing an article, a documentary, if you are really a broadcast journalist or you are a reporter, something like that. You know, because I really love to become a broadcast journalist until now. Oh my gosh. But I don't have time anymore to study because it's very far from my, you know, chemical engineer profession, right? How can I do that? Okay, so I'm doing this also because I love <laughs> communicating something like, oh my gosh, okay, wait. Okay. Oh, shout out to my friend and sister, Grace Cruda, who is permanently working now in United Arab Emirate. Okay, hello sister. My gosh, she is a graduate of um, BS Mass Communication and I think she is Mania Cum Laude, right? Sister Grace, you are Cum Laude, something like that. You are graduate with honors in University of San Jose Recoletas, right? Okay, so things like that. Okay, so I also like to listen to her when she do hosting and emceeing in an event like that because I love too much also what she did. Oh my gosh! So she is now working in UAE, something like that, okay? Oh, shout out to Nimu Indai! And you are a valedictorian, right? She is the valedictorian of Nata National High School, okay? Okay. So meaning to say consistent honor student from elementary to college, right? Okay, yes. <laughs> you get the point? Okay, now, so we have, so, so should there are means? Okay, okay, nitrosamines. Be careful, I need to teach you like this. Some chemical engineers and chemists, okay, disclaimer, huh? this is not really criticizing, I'm just telling the truth. Okay, okay, this is not nitroamine. Again, this is not nitroamine. This is nitrosamines. There's a letter S after the letter O. Be careful. Okay, because somebody's telling it is nitroamine. No, it's not. Nitrosamines. Meaning, plural of nitro is nitros. Okay, but English is ha? English tutorial. Okay, nitro, singular in form, nitrous, plural in form. So nitrous plus amines is equal to nitrosamines. So it's wrong to say technically nitroamine. Sorry guys, okay? To those chemists and chemical engineers there that failed also to account the minimal, minimal error technically of English terminology of this nitrosamines okay i'm not trying to be perfect but i'm just elucidating the fact that be careful some especially if you are writing your thesis right you are writing your feasibility studies or you try to document that and you publish that in the public write that so you will be corrected also something like that okay though the error is very 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 minimal but it plays a lot because of this chemical formula okay this is not opinion this is chemical formula is factual okay fact a science fact 
Ganon. Okay, so that is nitrosamines. Okay, not nitroamines. Okay, it's very clear. Now we go first to the chemical reactions. Okay. Okay, now, if we can obtain, we will be going there after half for the impact and for the epidemiology, for the disease, how to control, but let's explain first for the causes, raw materials, the reactions, and everybody, so that we can really understand what's going on. It's not really enough to understand the disease, we need to understand the, understand the behavior. For example, if you drink water, what will be happening the water inside our body? Okay, first, it will act as a digestion fluid, cleansing fluid, it will act as a precursor to create an acid, hydrochloric acid that is stored in our digestive system, things like this, okay, and it also act also to produce an acid that will be used also in our protein, like that, in our body and in our hormone, things like this, so that we can understand that we are drinking water because of that. Not only knowing that we need to drink water because we need oxygen, there are also another essential functions of water in which is very, very important. Aside from adding oxygen for our inhalation and cellular respiration. Get the point? Because that's the main purpose of water. That's why we drink it day by day, daily, daily, a la tool. Or second to second, minute to minute. At least it should be eight glasses per day, the requirement for drinking water, things like that. Okay, the advantages also of drinking water too much, you will be urinating that much. And sometimes also your vital organs cannot breathe, <laughs> cannot uh, function uh, because they will be restricted anymore to, to, to behave, to function in a usual case because the, the water are too much also. I cannot explain in a, in a doctor way of explanation, but in a general term, something like that. So it should be at least eight glasses of water, something like that. So, but not too much, okay? Because I read also from the magazine of Harvard Public School University, something like that, magazine. That if you drink too much water, that can cause also obesity and fat, FAT. So, oh my gosh, really? So something like that. So we need also to be careful. Ha, that's why the, the dosage, and the leveling is very important, okay? Though it's not really that a requirement, but we need also to have an idea a little bit. Okay, you get the point. Things like this. Okay, Okay. So our objective here is to produce nitrosamine. Okay, nitrosamine. Guys, I will ask you. So Shotori, we have nitrosamine? Because you said it can develop cancer. Do we have nitrosamine in our body? Yes, we have. Okay, all people have nitrosamine. Because if there's no nitrosamine, who will kill the bacteria? Who will kill the harmful bacteria? This is a function of nitrosamine. See? So sometimes, kasi guys, biological substances have healthful effects. Sometimes have also bad healthful effects. That's why we need to be clever and to be educated that it's gonna be like that. We need to learn the scientific technical information. Wala. If less also have uh, health effects, bad effects, and if also too much, uh, wala. so I need to be in the level of, in the middle, something like that, okay? So if that is the case, the bacteria will, not, will never be killed also. That's why nitrosamine la level inside our body is very low, not very high. But there is. Because the question is, Sir Sotero, do we have nitrosamine level in our body? The answer will be yes, but a low level only. Like that. Because this also can be found in our food. We eat every day. Water also has nitrosamine. Okay? I cannot explain also because this that is not our topic. If I will show you the reaction where nitrosamine will be produced with water. Okay, like that and other dairy products also. And in fact also, my gosh, in the drugs. Drugs we mean guys, this is the, the topic I won in my easy writing competition when I was third year college. Because the topic my topic is all about drugs. Drugs, you know, like that drug addiction, how to control it, something like that. Okay, so I emphasize really the relevance of drugs because the connotation, well, 
Kung attention meaning the idea, ha? that's another term for uh, the view, the opinion, the philosophy, the understanding, like that. Because the connotation or notion, the idea of, the notion of, the connotation of, the philosophy of, the view of, the understanding of. So choose that sentence and it's okay. It's the same name. Okay, I will say. Because the connotation of drugs for most people is bad. But actually it's not. It is the way how you use it in excess that make it a bad. Okay. In excessive amounts. Okay. Except really to those illegal drugs. Okay. Why? Because I put adjective. See? Illegal. If I will never put an adjective illegal, then drug will be okay. Because drugs also can really heal diseases. Okay, these are the medicines, pharmaceutical products, the syrups, the antibiotics, the tablets, something. These are all drugs. Okay, then if you put adjective illegal, and this became wrong. Okay, so be careful also when you're using the drugs. Okay, it's not mean all the time bad. Okay, so that is the subject of my AZ writing contest before in which I won first prize. I was in third year college in Cebu Institute of Technology University. Shout out to you guys, to all the publication editors in CIT University. <laughs> I hope you're doing well. Okay, something like that. So we need also to be extra careful in the terminology application. Okay, things like that. Oh my gosh, grab it. Okay. Going back to nitrogen, the back combination of science and English is very good, right? Okay. Hi, nako. Kada mo matatapos yung discussion mo sa show pero ang habang naman. Okay. Gusto na ko malinga wait. Sige, let's take mga information dito sa kung brain cells. I need to release. Okay. Wait. Okay. Hi, nako. Okay, go back. Nitrogen means. Okay, the formula of nitrosamines is actually is H two N okay yeah N double bound oxygen. This is the general chemical formula because nitrosamines are organic compound okay found in small levels into our blood, water, food, and dairy products, and can be formed also in drugs through manufacturing drugs products. As I told you, medicines. Capsules, penicillin, everything that have nitrosamines level, bah, 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 very low. Okay, because if it is very high, that can cause cancer. Right? So, obviously, common sense. Okay, so we have H2N single band and double band O. So, this is the general chemical formula of nitrosamine. It is basically organic chemistry. Okay, now, if we try to use the IUPAC system, so what's IUPAC? Okay. IUPAC means International Union for Pure Applied Chemistry. So in organic chemistry, for easy understanding of the, let's say, all students, not only limited to the chemistry students, right? Okay, so, so that we can understand uh, carefully the distinguish, to distinguish between a chemical formula and a structural formula. That's why we have IUPAC, International Union for pure applied chemistry to really distinguish, okay, to better understanding what is a chemical formula only and what is a chemical structural formula, something like that. So the structural formula, it talks about the, the breaking of the chain of those uh, chemicals or elements, normally the carbon and hydrogen chain linkage. For example, carbon, hydrogen, you have to show where it will be located in the carbon number two, carbon number three. So the exact orientation, okay, where to locate, okay, but for the positioning or the orientation of the elements, okay, if you try to see that in the, oh, what do you call this one? Spectrophotometer, the absorbance of concentration in the laboratory, something like that. It's a type of analysis in which there's a, a light that will pass to the sample and you can determine the behavior of those substances and you can see ah oh, the oxygen is located upward the hydrogen is located in the left 
Oh my gosh, so the orientation, you can see that. But we cannot see it in our eyes directly. Something like that. So that's chemical structural formula. But the general chemical formula, you can write simply as this. It's about water, H2O, alas. So this is not a structural formula. This is a general chemical formula. Now, in terms of the carcinogenic, okay, nitrosamine, our general formula is H2 and single band and double band O. Actually, you don't have to show also the band for the purpose only of understanding because if you try to put this oxygen beside nitrogen therapy, so it's understandable. That's going to be the general chemical formula, but I'll just have to emphasize. Okay? There's a purpose where you put that double band, single band. Okay. In a UPOC International Union for Pure Applied Chemistry, okay, we need to do the structuring of the chemical formula. So our formula now of this nitrogen will become like this. Okay, nitrogen, double band, oxygen, single band, alkyl group 1, and alkyl group 2, like that. In organic chemistry, <laughs> get sure of organic, because it will be linked in this topic also, sorry guys, ha? okay, alkyl group <laughs> contains carbon and hydrogen group only. Be careful, there's no oxygen if we talk about alkyl group, only carbon atom and hydrogen atom linkage in alkyl group, there's no oxygen there. It's not the same with carbohydrates because carbohydrates or the sugar fa family have oxygen. Be careful also, huh? Okay, so that's alkyl group, CH only in the R. Okay, now sometimes you can think, huh? Sir, it looks like it's an aldehyde or a ketone. No, it's not because there's a nitrogen specifically. Okay, because sometimes the appearance looks like an aldehyde, right? But now we do, we do discuss aldehyde anymore huh? because I already discussed this uh, last month to distinguish be between aldehyde functional group and ketone functional group okay so like that so this is gonna be our formula in a structural formula so so there when you put R since R is hypothetical meaning R is just only a representation that is an alkyl group now in case of nitrosamines since our general chemical formula is represented hydrogen two atoms of hydrogen, then you can replace the capital R into capital H directly. So it's going to be H here. So H, H. So it's going to become H1. H2, and there's an H2 here. Perfect. Nitrogen, on the other hand. One, two. So as I was like nitrogen, because this is double bond, okay, to oxygen. It's gonna be like that. You get the point? Mm. Ganon, mga palang dapat hitad. Okay? So it's gonna be like that. Mone siya ang formula. Okay? It's a nitrosamine. Okay? This is an organic compound. Okay. So if you try also to link another source of nitrosamines, mga palang dapat hitad. Nitrosamines also can be produced uh, largely in fertilizers. You know, fertilizer is to grow our plants. That's also essential so that we can have food. <laughs> we need to put fertilizer so that we grow our plants and our food coming from the plants. So, we need to say nitrosamines are very important also. You get the point? So, nitrosamines are responsible for the conversion of nitrate to nitrite. Hello? Just to convert in a shop. Yes, if you try to. Uh, have an anhydrous reaction, removal of hydrogen, something like that, okay? So NO3 to NO2, okay? Something like that. So meaning to say, nitrosamines are responsible for this nitrosamines, okay? And then this is found in the fertilizers industry, something like that. You got the point? But in here, guys, we need, I'm just talking only for another source of nitrosamine. Meaning, I, I need to maximize what are the sources of nitros nitrosamine since we know that this nitrosamine can cause cancer, right? So, what are the other sources? But then you will be also contaminated and exposed to the nitrosamine somewhere else. That's why we should have an idea. 
that these are also the other sources of nitrosamines in fertilizers, something like that. And before producing nitrosamines in the fertilizers, we need to have an enzyme. And that's a tonic enzyme. Enzyme is more on biochemistry. So enzyme, you know, uh, really act to activate or increase the rate of reaction of organic compound. So just like the same with a catalyst, it should be added to increase the rate of a chemical reaction, then not necessarily or not consume in the entire chemical reaction. Meaning it's being added but not being consumed or not part of the chemical reaction to be changing the colors, blah, blah, blah. It's only to speed up the rate of reaction. Kalas, marginal yung purpose. To, to get the desired yield and output, we add catalyst, okay, to activate the process in there, something like that. So, rate of pinagosap na RATE. So, it talks about chemical kinetics, okay, rate of reaction, okay, so enzyme, okay. So, it's just basically the same with the catalyst, but the catalyst is applicable to uh, more on the processes physical process, chemical processes in factories, companies, blah, 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 so and so. And then enzyme is more largely related to the biological part for the human being inside our body. So we need to say the terminology uh, differs to the application, how you use it. You get the point? The, the, the analogy, the enzymes, applicability is for the health and for the people, for the human being, the immune system, is everybody. But this catalyst is for the processes in actual, in a company, manufacturing, like that. The, but the purpose is just the same, to encourage the rate of a chemical reaction, something like that. Okay. But the enzyme is more on biological and somewhat organic. But most of the times, this catalyst, what I mean, is more in inorganic, something like that. Okay, so there's a differentiation. Sometimes also a little bit of organic will be there, but mostly inorganic chemical reactions will be there in a catalyst terminology. Okay, I'm trying to, to, to discuss to you the applicability when to use the appropriate term. Okay? In writing a document, for example, if you're writing a science document, a chemistry document, so you will use the enzyme not for the company. You get the point? You get the point? And you will feel that also if your, your course is science related, you can understand really, or you are a chemical engineer, or you are a chemist, or scientist, or biologist, or whatever related to science, you can understand what I'm referring to. Okay, something like that. Okay, now, since nitrosamine is an organic compound, we need to apply enzyme, not the catalyst, the terminology application, what I mean. Because the function is just the same, right? Okay, so enzyme. Okay, so if you speak about enzyme, there's a substrate. Okay, there's a substrate responsible for uniting. Okay, the certain components into the kind of enzyme. So, murkiyang can own, something like that. Upasok dito, if it just have the same shape, then bingo. Mo compatible. If they have compatible shape, then it's easy for the enzyme to react to the substance. Something like that. You get the point? Ganon. Okay. So, our enzymes here, okay, is the nitrite reductase. Nitrate that is or the moledu enzyme. Moledu enzyme. Why moledu enzyme? Because it's driven by an element called molybdenum. Okay. Molybdenum. That's like moledu enzyme. It's only another term. Because maybe in a board examination, things like this, we'll say, blanc is called a moledu enzyme. Then a simple lang question. A. Nitrate reductase, B hydroxylase, blah blah blah. If you are not familiar with bingo, di kakakawa sa answer. That's why I told you, you need to study a little bit also more also on theories and principles, not only problem solving. Okay, so that you will really pass the, the engineer's examination. 
Do not focus that much in problem solving, complicated problem solving. Just, you know, balance it with theories and principles because if you really understand theories and principles, it's easy for you to solve problems. You get the point? Not easy, it's comfortable for you to solve because you understand the concept. Okay, you get the point? So, your answer will be nitrite reductase because there's also a question like this in the board examination. Theories and principles, especially in the day two. Physical and principles coverage. Okay? Get the point? Mga chemical engineering students who will try to take up the board examination. Be careful also with that. Theories, principles, and concepts. Okay? I will focus on the of problem solving, guys. Okay? Because you know the problem solving will be there. It's not very that difficult. Only catchy and needs analytical skills. You get the point? And then sometimes due to we take for granted, we we, we saw that very quickly and very fast. Maglibogta, and then there's so many uh, theories in our brain cells. There's so many formulas in the brain cells. And sometimes we found difficulty to apply. Personally, I will tell you, this is also my, one of my weakness. Sometimes I, <laughs> I fail to, which is the most appropriate for this particular problem. That is, I think that is more on my 80% of my weakness in solving problem solving. I cannot really differentiate what is the applicability, though I can, but I'm telling you that's my weakness. I have so much formulas in my brain cells, but I cannot really extract the best and appropriate formulas for that particular problem solving. That's why I attempt to derive another equation. Because maglibog mo ko atong mga basic-basic na formulas din ako ma-apply da yun, that's why I will create and derive my own equations through linking that, that different formula. Sometimes, yung anak ko guys, that's why maglibog mo, sayo pranon ko. Because <laughs> the point, hi na po. Okay? It's gonna be like that. So, it's gonna be like that. Okay, you, you are not necessarily required to be good in math to become an engineer, ha? Huh? That's very clear. It's not near. It's not really necessary. Okay? As long as you are good in English, you are good in science, and you are average or a little bit good in math, then bingo, you'll become a licensed engineer. Though it depends on the faith that God given to you, F-A-T-E Kapalaran. Because Kapalaran also will do, you cannot do anything, even though how you study very very much. And sometimes also if you study too much, it, and at the day of the actual examination, all will be lost because you are uh, panicking, you, you are in panic, something like that. And then increase your mentality and perception. Always take it in your brain so that is very, very easy. Like that, okay? And then I want to top something like that. At least I will be in the top 10. So in that case, you will be passing the examination because your aim is very high something like that and you are always positive with a uh, tantamount of too much efforts okay too much efforts meaning all kinds of studying you've been applying and uh, discipline also discipline discipline meaning also if you have an uyap then you don't go to the date you will focus on the review if you love watching the series then focus on your review don't watch movies don't go to you know, to the CDs just to sing or whatever, drink or whatever. Focus, 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 focus 100, 1000%. Because your aim is to, to be on the top, right? Like that. And it, it's in your brain, so that it's very easy. There's already the mentality there and the perception, the positivism. You are a positive thinker. All you have to do now is to apply the studying methodologies in order to help reach your mentality and perception that you're gonna be topping the board examination and it's gonna be easy. So how can you accomplish that objective if you don't have an effort to reach that objective? Okay, and then through that, you will pray a lot and self-discipline. What kind of self-discipline? You will indulge your time from the morning until midnight, you will keep on studying. Okay, and then just relax for one hour, like that, going back to study again. Okay, like that. So focus 1000%. Okay, then you will pass or even top the word examination. It just happens a lot that we do in math. <laughs> really, guys. Okay, so what will happen if I'm very good in math? I don't know. Okay. Okay, 
because I ash because really guys sa theory talaga okay kaya kung score okay because you know na answer ako talaga ng theories and principles but yun tayo is kapo because I really love principles and theories I memorize I understand and memorize all the processes chemical separation chemical and physical separation processes um, mga cancers mga ganon ari na ko mayabu sa problem solving but not that really yabu that much I mean, mayabo ko if the, you know, if the problem solving is so catchy, it requires analytical skills because I'm not good in math, right? Okay, something like that. Though I can understand English very well, but sometimes really it requires analytical, you know, skills in problem solving. So that's my biggest area also. Okay, now, and this is not math, I'm, I am safe, right? So, nitrite reductase is our enzyme. Okay, you can put that here. Somewhere in the center. For example, if you try to put then a chemical reaction in an organic point of view, just like a combustion reaction, you can you have to put that in the center, and sometimes you will put a triangle, meaning heat, the presence of heat, and that is more mostly combustion processes that undergoes pyrolysis, the process of burning certain organic or inorganic substances to yield a product something like that okay there's a symbol of triangle so in this case it's an enzyme you put here to produce nitrite from nitrate and then bottom it will produce nitrosamines which is H2 and single bond and double bond O something like that okay so this is the formula of that which is carcinogenic organic compound found in processed meat food in cans and in a packed plastic you found in the groceries and in the hypermarket or the supermarket or in the bakala something like that okay you get the point anaksha okay then why we put that there and why we need this nitrite that's the question so should tell when we need this nitrite that's the second question follow up question right Okay, since we know already that we have an idea that we have nitrosamines in order for us to survive because it can kill the bacteria and the viruses in the body. So apart from that, we should not be contented with the technical information. Aside from that, why we need a nitrite sergiotero like that? We need nitrite, as I told you, it is a component to produce nitrosamine. So I will show you the chemical reaction now. Okay. Ganon. And then also mga palangga, kung hita, nitrite is very important in the curing, curing of meat. Okay, something like that. Other uh, foods that highly perishable. Another term na naman. So, Shotero, what is perishable? <laughs> Food that cannot be easily biodegraded. Or non-biodegradable. Uh, that is biodegradable. Meaning easily be biodegraded. Meaning it can easily be rotten. R O T T E N. Meaning, dali ka siya malata, masalanta, or in Tagalog, what do you call it in Tagalog? So it can easily be broken down into <laughs> smaller substances. I think Tagalog is malalanta, right? And rotten. Or, so in English, that is perishable. That's another term for madadaling, malalanta, or easily be rotten, or easily be decomposed, right? Or easily be biodegraded. Because non-biodegradable is cannot be decomposed. So that is biodegradable, right? You get the point? Something like that. So that is perishable. Okay. For the source I've found, we use the term perishable. Not the biodegradable, but it's the same thing. So, another term of perishable is biodegradable and highly combustible or decomposable. Decomposed. Highly decomposed. Okay, something like that. So, the terms are, it's up to you how to use it. Okay, I'm just introducing the another term. Maybe you don't understand what is a perishable. Okay, perishable, the root term is perish. And then perishable, meaning already an adjective, right? Referring or to describe something that is easily be rotten, easily, easily perish. 
But actually, guys, this parish is having also another term which is very deep, meaning to say it will be totally lost also. Okay. Uh, what is that? John 3.16. <laughs> Nakakaloka. Okay. Okay, na na verse sa John 3.16, right? Uh, you should be prayer for, uh, prayerful at all times so that uh, uh, you can have a longer life in the earth, in this earth, like that. Okay? Ito po eh. So it's gonna be like that. You should be prayerful so that you can extend your life or you sustain your life for uh, how many years in the world? Something like that. Okay. So that you will not be perish as it is. So when it's in Spanish, pala, it's just like a uh, vanishing. Or, you know, you will try to disappear. Or it's just, but it's can, it can also be used in the, the food in this way. <laughs> Meaning, perish, you need to be lost, vanish, or disappear, or out of the place. I mean, to say, okay, or it will not be decomposed. So, things like that. So, it depends on the sentence you will use, right? But what I'm telling you, the, you know, the aspect of the, the broadness of the term. That I said, perishable is not only applicable for the food also. Okay. Ah, for example, uh, if you will just keep on praying, you as a person will not be easily perished. Something like, meaning, you will not die easily. Okay? You need to say, not literal in effect. Okay? The word perish can be also applied to another sentence. Could it be in food? And the human being like that, okay? Oh my gosh, my my for example, oh my gosh, my calculators were already perish. <laughs> so shall perish Okay, something like that. Meaning not literal. You can also use, but not uh, common. But it's it's okay. It depends on the situation, right? Okay? Ganon. So meaning to say. <laughs> So, meaning to say, these mechanisms are very, very important, okay? Nakakalyoka. So, imagine, can cause cancers, but then it's also very important. Mauli siya makalago sa health sciences, okay? Because there's also, Ill, there's also cancer, can carcinogenic food that's also very important kasi, oh, nakakalyoka, di ba? So, that's what we need to explain. Okay, so the nitrite reductase will produce nitri nitrite. Okay. Then this nitrite now will become your raw material in your nitrosamine. Okay. So in case of a meat, what will be happening? Okay. For example, if you have a uh, hot dog. Hot dog. You eat hot dog. This hot dog has nitrate in the ingredient. Nitrate. Okay. This nitrate in the hot dog. Okay. Then so you tell you how can it be reduced to nitrite? That's your question now. Because I'm representing you a chemical reaction that could prove that a nitrite is necessary to produce a nitrosamine. Like that. So how can we do that? Because it's, it's very difficult also for a compound except burning. Okay, burning and oxidation, you have to add oxygen or you have to heat that. Aside from that, it's very also unusual for a chemical compound to produce a product without a combination. Put this into your brain cells. For example, this is a compound. For example, I have limestone, calcium carbonate, for example. It exists as a standalone compound. If you will never add to something with another chemical, or if you will never add that to the air, to the water, it will never be decomposed and produce another product. It's also unusual or not practicable. So in this case also, how can I produce nitrate? Because it's a nitrite if it is nitrate first in the hot dog. You get the point. That's the analogy. So there must be something to be added or to be reacted in order we can produce nitrite again burden to produce nitrosamine, which is a very bad in our health. Something like that. So what is the compound to be added? And it is unknown. So I will be teaching you now. Okay? For example, if you eat bacon, sausage, beef loaf, meat loaf, or anything that is meaty, meaty galore, reddish, red meat, I mean, and also meat found inside a packed plastic, okay, like that. So, absolutely there is nitrate there, because nitrate is a preservative. You get the point? 
is a preservative in order to preserve the food for how many months, for how many years, we need to put nitrate. That's why. That's why also when we eat that nit nitrate, it should be accumulated also in our system. Alang alang magwala ang nitrate. Okay, because the manufacturers put nitrate, it's impossible the nitrate will be loosed. It should be eaten also by us. You get the point? So that is the presence of nitrate as a preservative to preserve the food. Okay, to extend and to prolong the shelf life of the product. What do you mean by a shelf life? Meaning the time it is being stocked or stored into the market for at least years, months, and the only way to be sure and to confirm is to read the packaging of the products you buy. For example, I have here the mayonnaise. So I need to validate through expiry date or validity date where to expire. So that's the purpose of the nitrate as a preservative. So we need to say, if there's no nitrate, dalit ka siyang malanta or easily be rotten, easily be biodegraded, or easily perishable. Because that's our definition, right? You get the point of nitrate. Now, what is the compound I will be added to nitrate sersotero so that I can produce nitrite? So, we need to say, technically, it's not the nitrite immediately you will obtain there or the, the mix there. It's still a nitrate, not yet reduced into nitrite. Again, it's not nitrite there originally in the food that we take. It's still nitrate but converted to nitrite when it's go into our system already because it's been reduced to a certain compound that we will be able to be odd to the nitrate here. So that is reduction reaction. Okay? So we add nitrite reductase enzyme. So what is that compound? Actually, you can choose, but in this case, here in the left side, I, I added nitrous oxide, sodium nitrite, uh, nitrous oxide, dinitrogen trioxide, dinitrogen tetraoxide, and other organic nitrites in various forms. And we, do, we don't need to enumerate because the whole blackboard will be finished by this organic nitrite. Because there's a lot. Okay, mostly plants. Okay, okay, and trees like that. There's no escape. All of them have nitrites. Uh, you get the point? That's why I told you a while ago, fertilizers are rich in nitrates or nitrates, something like that. Okay, you get the point. Ganon! What's the reason for this, guys, of the abundance of nitrates and nitrites in our plants and our food? Aside from being a preservative, why? Think of a root cause that God created the world. Okay, let's do this again. Because nitrogen is 79% by volume. Okay, okay. Nitrogen is 79% by volume compared to oxygen. Right? Oxygen is only 21% by volume in our nature that God gave it to us. Many to say it's natural existence that 79%. That's why also we have a lot of nitrates in the planet Earth and mostly in the food. Okay? You get the point that we take the organic compound as I discuss now. Okay? Because if without nitrogen, we will also die. Something like that. You get the point? The same as oxygen. If we don't have also oxygen, we will also die. Because nitrates are fortified in the food, and if there's no nitrate, how can it give us energy? Things like this, they are <laughs> led with each other too, too much. Okay, you get the point? Okay, because of 79% nitrogen in the atmosphere. Okay, by volume, ha? Huh? Okay, this is chemistry also. You get the point? Muna siya abundant yun ang nitrate. Since abundant ang nitrate, there's a chance yun ang tao mamatay. Why? Because of nitrosamines. That's why there are people who die in breast cancer, in prostate cancer, in colon cancer, bowel cancer. Because of this, because their nitrates and nitrates level are very high already. You get the point? And they keep on enjoying the earth. Party there, eating too much food. And this can be found in barbecues also. Barbecue, kanang mga sinugbang meat. 
You get the point? Because I told you, lana siya mga nitrate and nitrite. Imagine if you keep on doing that every week, sige mo kao ng baboy, and you keep on adding nitrates and nitrates in your body. Right? And then it will convert that to nitrosamine. So, <laughs> if you continuously accumulate that while you are still young, what will happen if you age 50 years old, 60 years old? That's why prostate cancer is very common for men. Because when they are still young, their pollutant, usually meat, correct me if I'm wrong, their pollutant is always meat, and meat have nitrates converted to the nitrite, and nitrite is a component of nitrosamine, which is a carcinogenic organic compound, carcinogen. So that's the, the fact there. That's why we need to control in eating meat, something like that, whatever type of meat. But sad to say, okay, let's enjoy the planet Earth, no problem. It depends on the perception also and mentality. Because other people, ah, as long as buhit pa ko, maglipay-lipay ko. It depends on you. If that is your choice, no problem. Okay? Just no problem for, for me. I'm just educating the technical information out of, out of it that it produces an, a health, ill health effect or a chronic disease in the future if you keep on eating red meat during party party or whatever or in the daily halatul just reduce it and then have your regular check up because the doctor will always extract that there in your results and you can troubleshoot that there are oh, my you know cholesterol level is high the sugar level is high blah, 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 so and so and uh, you know and the results will, will describe everything on your lifestyle you cannot escape my friend your medical records will really project your lifestyle because of the, the way how you eat. And you cannot explain that there that you will try to explain. No, that is not true because that is true testing. That's evidences, proof, analysis, tests, records of the medical technologists in the hospital through your blood, through your urine. And in here, usually it can be catered out by the Bowel, B O W L, the human waste or the stool, something. Normally, there will be blood that will mix to your stool. There's also a presence, oh my gosh, there's a presence of either colon cancer or this. Okay? Cancer, nitrosamine level is very high. Okay? Because bowel cancer, the effect of excess level of nitrosamine due to the preservatives in the food. Ganon! Okay, ba nakakalakas ako? What will I add to nitrate? Okay, let's erase this. What is the chemical reaction? Okay, nakakalo ka. Okay, manakit natin natin yung mga batang. So, symptoms will be there already. That you have a higher nitrosamines. Because the nitrosamines are also basically an organic salt. Okay? You get the point? Why? Because our raw material is already a salt. As I told you over and over again, chemicals that ends with A-T-E and I-T-E are already salts. And I told you, nitrate, nitrite, right? Uh, phosphates, oxalates, chromates. There's a lot, right? So that already salts. Because salt doesn't mean salty all the time, just like sugar. It doesn't mean sweet all the time. It, it matters on the concept of their family in science. It belongs to carbohydrate family, or shall we say it belongs to the, what do you call it, one? Uh, uh, isomers family. You get the point? The saccharides family, saccharides. Saccharides family are usually carbohydrate or sugar family kasi it, no? Monosaccharides, saccharides, like blah, 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 blah. In organic chemistry, I don't have you to teach about te technical more, but that's really the basic, okay? Get the point. So salts doesn't mean salty, okay? Because there are a lot of salts. In organic salts and organic salt, again, uh, sugar does not also mean all the time sweet because there's also a lot of sugar, not limited to the glucose we take daily, daily, a la tool. Okay? Why you said, sir? Why every day you take? Because the rice have glucose already. Every minute you are storing glucose in your body. Every second, every minute. Why I say every second? Because we, once you eat in the breakfast, they're still accumulating inside your immune system. 
to do the chemical process inside. Okay? That's why after that, there will be a hungriness you found. Because they are do the tasks there, the vital organs are doing their tasks there, the digestive system, the cardiovascular system, anything there, they're performing, and your glucose will be <laughs> circulating there. Everything. You just don't see, but they perform their task there inside. Meaning to say, we have glucose second to second, minute to minute, hour to hour, okay? Because we keep on eating rice and other carbohydrates-related family food that limited the little rice. For example, bread. Uh, like that and in fact not only that okay we have also the you know these uh fruits though fruits so uh, fructose will be there but later on also fructose will be converted to glucose things like that okay because there's a reduction process is kasi eh. so it's not really that if you if that <laughs> chemicals are not there you're gonna produce that after they have also byproduct like that. so it's really complicated to under, uh, understand the whole story of the chemical reaction but we need to go back to the basics okay that's the point the glucose family is too huge uh, i think that is 80 percent of the glycogen in our body what is the glycogen? what glycogen is the stored area of our glucoses inside our body that's glycogen okay and it, it will be converted to glucoses then because our liver need it okay our pancreas need it our heart need it our lungs need it our brain need it so it will be circulated na talaga in different places to places of a vital organ then that's why if too many also this siya maka po for example, if the liver needs only this kind of glucose, di siya makapiog, then it will go to another area, blah, 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 so and so. And then, if the other vital organ also, are, their function is not to store glucose, that's the time also coming that it will be stuck there, even though it's not part of their job. Okay, that's why you develop a disease, because the, the glucose, instead of... <laughs> Talking only to this particular vital organ will go to another organ in which, in which that is not necessary for them to activate. For example, right? There's so many also vital organs that they don't need sugar. But since wala na ikabutangan sa imong sugar or glucose in your system, they will try to penetrate there. You get the point? Because excess na kayo imong glucose. That's why you develop a disease. You get the point? Because the, the minimum or the no, the average and adequate level of your sugar in the particular vital organ that needs that sugar for the proper function, it's no longer, it's beyond. It will go to another vital organs in which that is not use, that is useless for other vital organs to function. You get the point? Because there are also other that don't need it. Okay? We, we have a lot of substances, but the vital organs also have their specific substances. They need it or need. Things like that. If, and if do if, and if they don't need it, so it will cause them in trouble also. So there will be a uh, inflammation, uh, you know, of the abnormalities of that kind of vital organ. You get the point. You get the point. Nama mga anak guys, okay? So for example, excretory system don't need nitrosamine, right? And then because you are having too much nitrosamine, it will go to your kidney and it will go to the prostate. That's why you have prostate cancer. Because your nitrosamine level is too high, it will go to another area in which it is not relevant, it is not necessary. You get the point? Mohon siya niya tabo, mga mga sakit-sakit, because you know, it is not really relevant to that particular organ na talaga siya. Di kapiog ba? You get the point? Normally, kung hindi kapiog ba, ito sa laing part. You get the point? May common sense na lang, good. O, ano na lang? Pwede na sige, yaw-yaw, in fairness. You get the point? So, specific vital organs need specific substances in order for them to function properly. Right? Mm -hmm. So, now, so nitrate, let's say for example, nitrate, ganon, di ba? Nakagalaw. Pakalaw ka, it's pretty sure. So, nitrate plus blank to produce nitrate. Mag chemistry pa, chemistry lecture. Okay? So, we have, so we need to add what? Water or an acid to produce nitrite. Nanajit pagayo. Okay? Think. What will be added to nitrate to produce nitrite? Now, if you try to, to cure a meat, what is the basic substance you add in order to cure? 
What is it? The most common, the 75% in our body and the 75% in the planet Earth. It is water. That's why I told you, water comprises the largest <laughs> component in our body. 75% or three-fourths. And then the same also as the planet Earth, composed of 75% water, three-fourths also. And that's how God is very, very amazing. Okay? He tried to equalize the different, you know, location. Location one, human body. Location two, planet Earth. Location one, human body is micro, meaning in a smaller perspective. And then uh, planet Earth is a macro, in a larger perspective. And he is very, very super brilliant. He tried to have an analogy. The two is parallel. The two are parallel in, uh, in scientific explanation. So that's gonna be we add water. Okay? That's why also we drink water every day, right? Aside from being a digestion uh, agent or cleansing agent, right? So nitrate plus water will yield nitrite. And we convert that into a chemical formula. What is the formula of nitrate? That is NO3 negative 1. There is a negative valence or a negative oxidation state, or let us say this is an anion. Okay, negative. Negative is an anion, right? Okay. Plus water here. Okay. Ganon. So, what will be the reaction to produce nitrate? Nitrate is, is just a reduction. Assuming already that you, you add that enzyme, huh? okay? The, you know, the nitrate reductase and the molecule do uh, enzyme. Example of me. Okay, now we have nitrate NO2 negative 1. Reduction from 3 atoms of oxygen, it then become 2 atoms of oxygen. That, that would mean of reducing. Okay? Okay. Now, what will we add to nitrite here? Okay. Take a look at the chemical reaction. Right? Now, if you add water and a salt, what will yield? Okay? Water and a salt. What will be yielding this? Okay? You remember now the you know the neutralization reaction, uh, usually in a titration process, like neutralization. But in here we do we don't do that titration, but it's inside our immune system. You get the point? I'm just telling you the basic way of producing an acid and the basis to titration, neutralization reaction. Now, but in this case, there's a water here. The, the reactant. This is a reactant. Okay, like that. This a product, and we're still searching that away. There's water, as I told you, seventy-five percent of the water is in our body. Okay, like that. Okay, so what is the product for this? Take a look, guys. Anything adding water is already basic chemistry. Hydrolysis reaction. Okay, hydrolysis. Basically, hydrolysis is a chemical reaction of a salt and a water. Now, our salt here representation is the nitrate. Now, since in theory in chemistry, if we have the hydrolysis, salt and water, it will produce an acid in the base, right? So we have now here nitrite. What will we add here? So we need this an unknown, unknown yet. We need to analyze first the reactor here. Now, we have the nitrate and we have the water here. What will be yielding here? This is, my friend, this is what kind of, what type of chemical reaction? What type of chemical reaction is this? This is only single replacement chemical reaction. So you need to attach now of the hydrogen to the nitrate. Okay, so basically, okay, this is talking about of bronsted lowry acid principle. Tama ba? Yes. Okay. Bronsted-Lowry acid principle. Now, if we follow that principle of acidity, now we can produce nitric acid. Okay. Nitric, see? Nitric acid. See, we'll nitric acid. Oh, ganon. HNO3. And NO2. Ganon. 
So, we need to say, guys, our nitric acid is an acid, of course, obviously. And our nitric hair will act as a base. So, Bronsted Lowry base. You get the point. This is our three concepts of acidity and basicity can be measured by Lewis acidity and basicity. Lewis, Mr. Lewis. And also, bro Mr. Bronsted Lowry, the, the scientist who discovered. Okay, Bronsted Lowry uh, base, Bronsted Lowry asset na ganun siya okay you get the point naman siya mga theory theory and also the last one will be the Arrhenius theory of acidity and basicity okay Arrhenius discovered by Mr. Arrhenius also you get the point so muna siya ang three how to determine the acidity and basicity theoretically by three scientists involved first Mr. Lewis second Mr. Brownstein Lori Third, the other one, Mr. Arrhenius. Okay. And we, we will say that in that way, Lewis theory of acidity and basicity, bronsted lowry theory of acidity and basicity, and then we have also Arrhenius theory of acidity and basicity. Most, each of them have the concepts and theories to understand so that we can come up with this chemical reactions that we are using here. Something like, okay, so nitric acid now is an acid, of course. And sa ito pa, ang nitrite will access a base. Okay, now balance the chemical reactions. Okay, ang produce naman ang nitrite. So our main purpose is to produce nitrite because nitrite is a raw material of nitrosamine. And nitrosamine is a carcinogenic substance inside the body. Okay, you get the point. Then, our food considered is hot dog, right? Hot dog. Let's say Argentina. Oh, no. uh, tender, juicy hot dog. Oh, ganon. Swift hot dog. So, originally have nitrate na talaga siya. So, there's a possibility that we can develop the cancer later on. Hindi na nabot siya nitrate. You get the point? The only thing is to avoid or not to do it frequently in eating. Do sa theory. Na nagod siya sa theory, guys. Okay, you get the point. We cannot escape. That's already true. Okay? So either, if you are eating meat every day, then, after how many months, masakit ka because of this nitrate. Because uncontrolled eating of meat substances, hindi man ka daily-daily, you will eat meat. Okay? Like that. But, 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 it's also have to to balance balancing okay balancing exercise like that so that your sweat will come out so that these nitrates will come out into your system due to uh, burning of calories uh, metabolism so if you have the sweat now the nitrates will be going there also as a soul so no need to worry if you have a very good lifestyle Okay, aside from choosing the food you eat, you also do the exercise because at that time, the nitrate also will go there in your urine, in your sweat, during jogging, walking, performing tasks. What I mean here, if too much accumulated na talaga without exerting uh, physical activities, good, there is physical activities also for the people who are working in the field, it would be okay. But what if people working inside the office, this will become the problem. Because they keep on sitting 8 hours. Imagine you keep on sitting for 8 hours and then you don't do physical activities. What will happen? So your nitrates will be accumulated. Then compared to those people who are doing heavy works. The labor, the cleaners, the, the scaffolders, the welders, the pipe fitters. They are usually using their energy at all times. So meaning to say, their nitrates will be removed easily, okay, compared to the people who are working in the office. You get the point? Or in the laboratory, because they are only walking. Okay, it's totally different if you, you uh, have heavy efforts to carry things, to, okay, to move energy. It's totally different rather than only walking, walking, walking only. It's not enough, okay? You get the point? Comparing to a physical activity. That's why we need to have an education and knowledge how to uh, not accumulate this nitrate from the preservatives of the food we eat. Because especially uh, we okay, love 
meat every time. Nobody wants meat. I know that. Okay? Especially chicken. Nobody always eat chicken. Dili dili ala tul. Three times a day or four times a day. So the only way to do that is to do regular walking in the oval. Let's say in the morning, in the afternoon, or do the jogging, do the exercise. If your job really requires physical activity, you don't have to do that because you always use your energy. For example, if you try to push the pipe and then you have to rotate, it involves energy and at that time you will sweating, right? The nitrates will go in the sweat, the salts. You are not just knowing what kind of formula, chemical formula is that because you are not really professional or you are not a chemical engineer, you are not a scientist. But basically, the nitrates already converted there, okay, in your waste, the sweat, the, the urine or whatever, okay? So this is not only good for the office works inside the office all day sitting for eight hours. And then going back to the room also, again, sleeping, eating, watching movie. Don't you think your nitrates will be removed? Technically. So these are also proven to the studies also that most of the office workers will develop also uh, prostate cancer. Aside from the fact that undergoing multiple sexual partners, less masturbation, these are also the causes of the prostate. Aside from that also, okay, because of the nitrates, chuba chuba chucho, it will not be removed in their system also. At the age of 60 years old, then prostate cancer will be removed. They will, they will be wondering, Sir, why did I prostate cancer? Man ko? Uh, why I developed this? Because I also masturbate, you know, frequently. And I told you that is not only the reason, right? Okay, sir, why I develop a prostate cancer? I'm, I'm not having a multiple sexual partners. See? So, they took a giigo sa food intake of preservatives. Too much. Because you are loving eating meat every time, starting from kid. KID. Okay? Going to youth. Teen. You. Y O U T H T in ager. Then go into adult. You always keep on eating meat. Imagine how many nitrates you develop and you don't have exercise. You don't have jogging. And you work also inside the office at the age of 30 years old. Your work. It's not really physical activities. What will happen? You accumulate nitrates and nitrates into your system. So eventually, nitrosamines will be there. Okay? In case of a man, that is prostate cancer. In case of a woman, that is breast cancer. So we need to say that the, the causes are not only limiting to that. There's also another reason. Such like this, okay, eating meat, particularly bacon in this concept, bacon, because the studies suggest by the World Health Organization in July 12, 2022 latest, okay? Though there's, there is already a theory generally, if you eat too much meat, any kind, you will develop nitrites and becoming a nitrosamine, which is a carcinogenic substance. But it was really proven also through experimental evidence in July 12, 2022, na sa bacon. If you keep on eating bacon, and this is uh, on the UK, United Kingdom, okay, like that. And they found out that there are 10,000 people die every year because of this nitrosamines, okay, carcinogenic organic compound in their case in United Kingdom, something like that. If that happens there, it's also possible happening in another continent, in Asia, in Middle East, because <laughs> the science will never change. You get the point? The, in, the science information will never change. And this kind of foods will be circulated all over the world. The bacon also, right? You get the point? So, the study is only, uh, you know, corrected in the UK. But it doesn't mean it's only in the UK. It's also found in other areas all over the world. But it's there that we need to reduce uh, 70 grams intake of nitrosamine. Okay? Like that. Because it's found in preservatives. You get the point? And then, uh, the study also suggests the manufacturers. Okay, the Food Standards Agency all over the world, FSA, all over the world, and uh, limiting to UK. Okay, Food Standards Agency all over the world, 
they really pushes a law, law, L-A-W, to minimize, okay, the content of nitrite. And the nitrous means to at least to reduce that to 60%. Okay, this is the issue. Why they cannot eliminate their because we need it in the first place, at least low level, right? That is the first theory. Second, also, this nitrous amine, because nitrous amine will kill harmful bacteria, also, right? So it's not also uh, scientific or highly scientific to remove very, very uh, large percentage of nitrous amine, at least 60 percent, but because we need it also to kill the harmful bacteria, especially this. Clostridium butulinum. Wow. And the Salmonella bacteria in our digestive system. They need nitrosamine to kill it. So, diba, if we try to analyze, oh my gosh, it, we need to control. At the same time, we need to have it. So, this is the, the difficult part of being an individual, how to balance. So, if we, have, if we don't have knowledge, then problem also. You get the point? So that's why this blog comes in. Really, I need to share this. Because I need also to protect the humanity. Wow! <laughs> Through my blog. And I, need, and I need also to help them. Maybe they don't know. Right? So things like that. And thank you too much to Engineer Timoteo Idolantes. In the morning, he really shared me about this information. Okay? Though I know that already, but it's not highly specific on bacon. And in the UK, and then the percentages of the intake. So all I have in my brain cells are the general point of view, not really the specific technicalities. Then, oh, when I see the link, oh my gosh. Then, though I know the reactions already, but it's not really that, uh, you know, detailed. When I go further added my knowledge, oh, it's going to be like this. Okay, it's easy for me because I'm a chemical engineer. I can already know what the chemical formulation, and it's easy for me to really discuss the chemical reactions and what will be the effect like that and additional really is very important thank you to so much engineer Timothy Delantes this is my classmate before in chemical engineer class okay like that in Cebu Institute of Technology University okay bye bye I need to cut it to cut this up we need to finish for the reaction and then I will cut it off to another segment I'm spending too much time in the chemical reactions right oh my gosh <laughs> Okay, so I need to erase. Ano ka ka loka? Guys, masakit din inyong back ang inyong waist. Pachip up dahil mo ha. Okay, because tulurag yun na siya guys. Kidney, diabetic, something like UTI, and this issue of prostate cancer. Okay? Sa lalaki. I don't know with the women. Okay? Oh, but the women, generally, breast cancer also, right? Okay? So, ako ibalik ang chemical reaction. Okay? Pag humatatani, mugoto, mugcenter data sa mga anatomy, physiology, epidemiology. Ganang ganang, di ba? Okay, so ganang. Ay, nakakala. That's why I'm very, very happy today. Uh, happy in Al Adha holiday because I can research more. I can read more, I can develop content more, and I can add knowledge aside from my OSH knowledge. Okay, that's the point. Because it's not limited only to... As I told you, we don't need to focus only to one, one line specialization. We need to be versatile. Okay, that's the point. Or flexible to another academic information. Ha? Ganon ang life. Okay, not focusing on one area only. Okay? Ganon. Okay. Okay, class, let's go back to the chemical reaction. Okay, nitrate plus, okay, water is equal to nitric acid plus nitrite. Okay, now balance the chemical reaction. <laughs> Bumabalik sa dati. Okay, so we have balancing of chemical equation, go to the left first, and elemental balancing, so nitrogen. Okay, then we have oxygen, then we have the hydrogen. And we put the compartmentalization of to the left, we add tank to the right product. So it's understood, right? If you already really master how to balance the equation, then this is the procedure. So nitrogen first. Okay. Nitrogen in the reactant, one atom. 
Because 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Meaning 1 subscript of nitrogen times 1 the coefficient number of mole. Okay, I need to emphasize coefficient times subscript is equal to the total number of atoms in that particular single element. So that we can understand. So teachers should be like this in teaching chemistry. So that the students can understand really. Ayun yung kidit sulit. So, kanong libo kang sudyante. Okay? You need to discuss in this way. Okay. Subscript times coefficient. And what is this coefficient? The number written beside the element of a compound. May nasa kilit. Mole imo mole. Okay. So, so therefore, you can say mole times subscript. Okay. The subscript can be an atom if it is only having one coefficient automatically. But the subscript can never be an atom if we have variable of coefficient beside the element and the compound. Ako na yung ihinay, guys. Okay, so again. Let's start off. One nitrogen times one is equal to one. This will be the atoms of nitrogen. Because in a chemical balancing, we are balancing the number of atoms not the number of moles, not the number of molecules, not the number of ions. We need to make it clear. We are balancing here the number of atoms specifically, not the number of moles, not the number of molecules, not the number of ions. You get the point? No. Very clear. Okay, so nitrogen here. And now we go to the nitrogen in the product. Also, so we need to balance the atoms in how many atoms of nitrogen here? We start the nitrogen in the nitric acid. We have also nitrogen in the nitric acid. So, okay, use the same principle. Subscript, nothing. That means one. Oh. One times so nothing also because there's no number beside the nitrogen in the nitric acid. So one times one is equal to one nitrogen in the nitric acid. Compound. And now let's go to the another nitrogen in the nitride. The same story. Okay. Like that. One subscript times one coefficient beside the nitrogen. As you can see, there's no number also in the nitrogen in the nitride. So you say one times one. Because the subscript also is one. So one times one. Sa to pa, you will add now the nitrogen atoms, total atoms, in the nitric compound, nitric acid, and in the nitrate. So we say, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Ganon. So there are total number of atoms of nitrogen, 2, in the product, in case of nitrogen. So, it's gonna be like that if you're a chemistry teacher, ha? It's not enough that you need to read. So, okay. Now, by it, by the new section, or whatever, you should explain in a very comprehensive manner. Okay? Like that. Ako siguro ba instruct room? Ako siguro ako uras. Siba! Nagagalo ka. You get the point? So, something like that. And you have also one. Now, the total number of atoms of nitrogen in the left in the reactant is only one. And the other, the product will be two. So, it, there's an imbalance of the atoms. So th this is now why we need to balance. Because there is an imbalanced number of atoms between the reactant and the product. And why we need to balance this, sir? Because in order we can have an appropriate formulation of our chemical product in the overall chemical reactions. It will be balanced on. Okay, why we do this? Because of the law of conservation of mass. Okay? Law of conservation of mass and law of conservation of energy in chemistry. This is our purpose. Okay? If we don't have these two laws, then there's no reason to balance. Okay? Because this is the purpose. That's why this comes in because of the law of conservation of masses in our quantitative stoichiometric relationship of our chemical reactions so that we can easily detect what amounts necessary to have a yield like this, to have a result like this. So everything must be properly balanced. 
something like that, so that we can exactly extract the right and appropriate amounts or yield of our desired product. Ganon. Grabe. You get the point? Wala pala ka kong hitad. So that's gonna be like that. So there's a purpose behind it. Sige na tag-balance-balance yung what are your objectives. Okay? You get the point? So i-balance na yung nato, no? Ganon. So sa ako ngayon nato. Okay, so. Let's link here the math na. Math. The arithmetic. Arithmetic ba? Yes. No, it's not. The algebra. Okay, algebra in mathematics, something like that. So, since we have no imbalance, then apply algebra. I don't need to teach you the trial and error method, guys, because the trial and error method is not the correct way how to balance the chemical equation. Sorry, disclaimer talaga of all instructors all over the world. It's not very important to introduce the, okay, the trial and error method because it will confuse the students. Imagine you need to, to trial and error from 1 to 10. How much you will put in order that to balance? It's not the very way of doing that. Use the algebra or math in balancing the chemical equation. How can we do that? So, listen. Okay. Now, we need to produce an X. Let X as the unknown atom in order to balance the chemical reaction. Okay. See, X as an unknown atom. Okay. A known number of atoms to balance the chemical reaction. I discouraged the trial and error method because when I was in the high school, maglibog ko. Then when I reached college, through my rigorous, rigorous meaning extensive research by myself only without any instructors guiding me in the library, ah, this, ganito pala yon. Something like that. And I applied that also in the chemical engineers board examination. Did bingo. Okay, with regards to chemical reactions, the no problem solving, then I can get higher scores. Something like that. You get the point? So we need to understand really, okay? Ay palabi sa sub-sub sa mga disuking ng mga problem. Ay palabi. Okay? You get the point? So X is equals to ano? Basic lang yun. Kung average. Okay? Unknown atom. Okay. So mo na siya. Ano kung dahil na nino ay mga palaga kung hitad. So you get the point? Ano na nino siya? So at X. O ganon. Okay, since we have imbalanced number of atoms in the left, we need to put the unknown of atoms in the left. You need only to put the, the unknown X in the side where it is deficient. Again, you will only put the unknown X of atom in the side in which there is deficient, meaning less number of atoms compared to the other side. And then we have only the two sides. We have only the reactant side and the product side. Or we have the left side and we have the right side. Okay. In here, it happens that it's in the left side, okay, the reactant side. So we have to say like this. 1 times x in terms of nitrogen is equal to 2. So you know we put naman put equal? Okay. Because we are doing the balancing here. So, we need to balance by putting an equal sign, meeting the law also of conservation of mass, using the law of uh, continuity, okay, or steady state flow equation. We are showing here steady state, okay, in which we are not concerned with the time involved, how to balance. As you can see, guys, in chemistry, we are balancing atoms, right? Because it, it doesn't need the time there. We need to say steady state continuity law. Okay, the balancing is referring to the law of continuity or the law of steady state, steady state, and the law of conservation of mass. It's gonna be like that. So you will say one times x is equals to two. Okay, then x is equals to two over one. Then x is equals to 2. So therefore, you will put this 2x in the left because you are putting the unknown x in the left. So you will put 2 beside nitrogen. Come on! And do that also in oxygen and hydrogen. The same thing that bingo, you can obtain a perfect balancing chemical equation. So therefore, we can say balancing of chemical equation is very easy. Okay? In this time. If you love chemistry and you understand already the mechanics how to do it, 
Okay, because I found out also they don't they don't love this type of topic. That's why they shift to another course, like that. For example, they're taking chemical engineering and then transfer to industrial engineering like that because there's not a lot of like this and they found it difficult. No, it's not a reason because you don't research that much. Okay, research first and it's not difficult. Okay, you get the point. Then I have so many classmates that are shifted to industrial engineering and to other types of engineering. We are still in the second year because they don't like some topics of chemistry or something. They don't understand. Okay? Like that. And they are struggling. This is to be honest, huh? They are struggling to get higher grades in chemistry. I'm not telling you that I'm good in chemistry. I'm just telling the truth at the time. Okay? You got the point? Ganon! Okay, so... It's gonna be the case. Okay, now. We have now... Is this balanced? Or we need to balance also the oxygen. Now, some students or some professionals or let us say whatever, okay? It's very difficult to, to balance first the oxygen and hydrogen. Which among them you need to balance first? It doesn't matter where to balance first, the hydrogen or oxygen. As long as you balance it by math, not by trial and error method. Okay? Like that. So let's go that uh, nitrogen, uh, oxygen na lang. Okay? So oxygen na punta. O ganon. Diba? Okay. After this, we will stop, ha? Okay. Gutom na siya guys explain, guys. Okay? You get the point. Okay. Oxygen in the left side or in the right hand side. How can we do this? Okay. It's gonna be like, sigahan yung mga mata. Okay. Component to component balancing equation. First, we have nitrate. Okay. There's an oxygen in the nitrate, right? Uh, so, we have oxygen 3 in the subscript, right? Okay, you will see. 3 times, and there is a coefficient beside oxygen, right? 2. Because nitrogen and oxygen are sharing the same coefficient because it's being put beside. In math, if you put that beside, it's shared the same. Okay, for example, for example, we will say uh, 2x. A polynomial, for example, in an algebraic ex uh, expression or equation. So 2x plus y, 3x plus 2y. So this is going to be the, the x should be in the 2 automatically without question. Oh, you get the point. Now, for example, if I have say uh, 3x plus y, then times 4. So this is a distribution multiplication uh, polynomial. You get the point in algebra, right? I say polynomial because it involves x and y, function of x and y in your algebraic uh, expression or equation, right? So you will say this is the visual multiplication. So this 4 shall be shared in both 3x and y. The same principle also in chemistry. The 2 here is beside nitrates. So you will say this. Uh, Yes, this two is also for nitrogen and also for oxygen. The same also in math here. This for the same with 3x and in y. So distribution, multiplication. So the math will be applied here in the chemistry point of view. So, that, so that's a good combination if you are good also in uh, science and a little bit of math. You get the point? So perfect combination talaga siya. That's why because I'm a top notch, I can use like mga math and science. Okay? And also average English, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the English phrasing there in the board examination is not deep. It's not also using the profound terms. That's what I will observe. As a confession, when I talk the board examination, the terms are not really that deep or profound. Just the basic. So meaning to say, if you are already good in math and science, then bingo, you can really have higher scores. And an average comprehension only in English, it doesn't matter. Average, meaning not poor. As long as you can understand the construction of the English, then bingo, you can solve really. As long as you are good in uh, science and math. You get the point? Ako kasi baliktad. I'm not more on the math, I'm more on the English and science. Okay, you get the point? So it's gonna be like that. So it's gonna be, okay. Now, we have nitro, uh, oxygen here and nitrate. So 2 times 3 is equals to 6. 
In water, there's no, uh, there's an oxygen. So, 1 times 1 also. So, 1 times 1. Because subscript here is 1. And coefficient, there's nothing, 1. In chemistry, guys, in chemical formula, if there's nothing, there's no number in the subscript and the coefficient, that's automatically 1. Okay? Without question. Because there's, not, there's no 0 there. If you multiply 0 to something, it will become 0 automatically by the law of math. If you multiply zero to anything, it will become zero. That's the, the rule, right? Even though you multiply one trillion, multiply by, uh, you know, zero, it's still zero. Okay? So that, that's the point that if it is nothing here, it's not zero, it's one. Okay? You get the point. So you say one times one. Now one. So add the two. Six plus one is equal to seven. These are all the total number of atoms of oxygen in your reactant. Now you will go to the product now. So oxygen. Okay, no. In nitric acid, how many oxygen atoms? Okay. Three subscript times nothing, right? So one. So three times one is equal to three. Because you know, we shout out engineer Timothy this. He told me to be an instructor of you know chemistry or science in high school. <laughs> because he observed me in this way kind of explanation. Nabili siya pang college, right? Because too much too much comprehension. Uh, pina spoon feed style ba? Because in college kasi automatic automatic. Bisag baglibog na nang sujanti, wai paki alam ng instructor. Bahala mo diha. Like that, that's the style of college. It's up to the students to study more, research more, but the instructors will never teach in this way. I do this because I, you know, I experienced this when I was in college. I was really struggling to understand the way and how they discuss. Though it's not all, but mostly because they are very brilliant. Brilliant instructors, guys, are not really teaching in a in a comprehensive way. Meaning to say, they will use uh, very kalit-kalit ba? You know kalit-kalit? Meaning to say, the students saw. Okay? Then the students cannot understand because they always try to think that the students have the same, you know, mental capacity with them. Then that's not good. That's why I will be happy if the instructors are not top-notch or the instructors are just average. Because if the instructors are just average, they can easily <laughs> explain in a very... Uh, in a very good manner because they are trying to label the audience and then have almost the same in understanding compared to the top natures, instructors, brilliant instructors. So they always expect that the students have the same mind with them. Then the way they discuss is very complicated, guys. Really. Not all again, but mostly. Okay? Most top natures instructors cannot discuss in a very comprehensive way. They will go directly and the students cannot understand. Some, some students also are sleeping, especially uh, in our school before, guys. Uh, we have instructors more than 60 years old, like that, because that is a private institution. It's not regulated by the age. As long as you can still teach, you are still accepted because that is not a government. Okay? So, they still accept that they are top notchers in the 1970s. 1960s, blah blah blah, so and so our NCIT. Okay, because <laughs> too much. Okay, like that. So, did you kasabut guys? Okay, so because as I told you, I'm not really that good also in math, siguro. That's why. Okay, that's why I need to research more in the library. It's in there, in the library, that I can understand not, but not on the instructor. Not, not to all, but for few lang, ha? because there are also instructors who are like that. Okay, you get the point sa math. Math lang guys ha, dili sa uban. Okay, you get the point. Kaya, alam nito ako maestro, ng grabe kaya mga maestro. Eh, grabe siya kaayo guys. <laughs> Basta, nakapit siya. Top number one, top number two, ganun ganun sa CIT. Nah, grabe siya guys na lang guys. Mundo ka na lang buko ato. In fairness, you get the point? Ganun. Okay, now, we have the oxygen three. Okay, here in the right three, and the seven also in the left. Now, there's an imbalance again. So you need to balance, you will say, so our deficient is the right side already in case of an oxygen. So you have to put X here beside the nitrite because that is lesser in amount compared to the nitric, oxy, uh, nitric acid, uh, oxygen three man shot, the two the nitrites. So you have to put the unknown X beside the nitrite. And then you will say also, okay, 
equation. No? Seven in the reactant is equal to okay three. Okay, but we have also oxygen here. We need also to get the oxygen here. So we say uh, two times one in the negative you can get two, and then three plus three is equal to six. Six shot. Okay, oxygen from nitrite plus oxygen from nitric is equal to six. Still uh, deficient compared to the seven oxygen atoms in the reactant. So you put the unknown x in the beside the nitrite. Why not in the nitric? Because nitric has more oxygen compared to the nitrite. The rule is always like this. Put only the unknown X of atoms to those who are less number of oxygen. So that you can understand. Pita magpataka ubutang asa ang X. At to na siya sa lesser oxygen atoms or lesser in amount or lesser number of atoms there. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So it says this R6, you put X here. Then an equation, algebraic equation or balancing of chemical equation. Now, 7 is equal to ganun -ganun. Now, take note mga palangga, kung litan. Okay. Take note. This is total already, ha? You don't have to break because that is already total. Okay. Now, equal to the product. Okay. Why we need to break the product? Because the imbalance is there. So, ano na siya, guys? If there is an imbalance, abtura ni mo ibongkab ang number of atoms during the equation. But if that is not a, ano, itotal na ginan mo siya. If that is not deficient side. Like this. 7 naman siya. Dile na ako ibongkab ang x dito. Asa na ako ibutang. Ganon. Okay? 7 is equal to ganon dahil yun. Break it out. Okay? Break it out. So, oxygen atoms in the nitric acid is equal to 3. Plus Oxygen atoms in the nitrite is going to be 2 times x. So 2 times x. Now you created an algebraic expression. A linear algebraic equation. 3 plus 2x is equal to 7. Solve for the value of x. That is algebra. So 3 plus 2x is equal to 7. Then you do now the transpose method in algebra. Transpose. See, if it is in the left, if you try to move that in the right, change the sign or reverse also if it is in the right you transpose it to the left change the sign okay so this is gonna be like that or you can do the another method of eliminating the components of the variables to make it simplified so another rule will be uh, divide that to something in order the magsamok samok makancel siya and what will be left will be samok samok meaning to say the complication of your variables will be eliminated by dividing that to something okay you don't have to mga palaka kung hitad ganun ang nangyayari okay so let's go now to the transpose so that it's easy to understand okay so 2x is equals to 7 transpose 3 to the right 7 minus 3 and then 2x is equal to 4. So 2x is equal to 4 solved for x. So it's going to be 2x or x is equal to 4 divided by 2. Or you can say divide it both by 2. So it will become x now. So 4 divided by 2. So x is equal to 2. So this, these are the atoms of x that you will put beside the nitrite. Because you put x beside nitrite man sha. Okay? You also put there. Okay, ganon. So this is the way of balancing the chemical equation. Okay. Now I have to put now. I have to erase now. Ganon. So it's gonna be... Ito nga putang handa yung biliari nga. Mga palang makikad nyo. So it's gonna be 2 nitrate. Okay. Okay. So we will now say 2 moles of nitrate. Not 2 atoms of nitrate. Now, when you say it, when you express it, so that... Your chemistry grammar will not be wrong. Okay? The grammar only is not applicable for English. That's also applicable in math and science. We'll say uh, chemistry grammar, math grammar, English grammar. Okay? You need to say this. Okay? It's like that. The applicability. So I will say two moles of nitrate. I will never say two atoms of nitrate. Ha? That's wrong. Okay? Chemistry grammar is wrong. You will say two moles of nitrate because anything put beside 
the elements are compound, you will say mole. In O L E. That's why mole is the basic unit of the amount of substance. Mole in O L E. Okay? The basic unit of the amount of the substance is a mole. M O L E. Not a molecule, not an atom, not an ion. Okay? Because sometimes it will come out also in the board examination. Blank is the basic unit of the substance. And I'm not sure to Ion, particle, molecules, atom. Your answer will be always mole. M O L E. Not molecule also. Because mole is part only of a one molecule. The several moles is one molecule. Something like that. Because the point so meaning to say molecules are larger than a mole. By that common sense. Okay, you get the point. Okay, we have also uh, one mole of water is equal to one mole of nitric acid plus two moles of nitrite. Now our problem now is hydrogen. Last. So balance the hydrogen atoms like that. Now, guys, it's very lengthy to balance, right? That's why we will be happy as a chemical engineering student or, you know, chemistry student, right? In a way, all courses have chemistry, right? We will be happy if the equation are already balanced and we need to solve that what is being asked for the, let's say, volume, the mass, like that, the velocity, the speed, the acceleration, the flow rates, the density, the viscosity, any physical properties that we are trying to solve, if the chemical reactions are already balanced, we will be happy. But the problem is, sometimes also the questions will give an imbalanced chemical reaction that we need to balance first before finding what is being asked on that particular question. So that is the, the most uh, lengthy, uh, you know, difficult part also for the students. So we will just pray that the chemical reactions are given are already balanced. But sometimes also, we are not very lucky. The question also giving only the statements chemicals. Again, there's no chemical reaction yet, and you have still to balance it by word only. This one. Uh, nitric acid reacted to hydrochloric acid will yield blah, 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 so and so. Then there's no chemical formula given in the problem. That is the most difficult. Because you need to convert that to chemical formula. You need to balance that again. And you need to solve also by analysis the appropriate chemical formulas used and then balance solution. So, the bar, I think also maybe the, that's the reason also the other students are shifting to another course. I think so. Because it's very tasky. Really. And then we are keep on solving problems that we don't see in our naked, in our eyes. Imagine when we, we chemical engineers, chemists, our science graduates, we keep on uh, solving problems that we don't see in our eyes. I cannot see an atom. I cannot see an ion. I cannot see a particle. I cannot see a molecule. Oh my God, what's this? But we are trying to find out. Right? Very, you know, oh my gosh, what's this? Very uh, complex. Something like that. And that's why we need extra effort to understand all of these things. And it's not enough really, as I told you, banjing banjing lang ka. You need to really go to the most extensive way of studying in order to hit the mark. Hit the mark meaning in order you, you reach your goal to become a licensed chemical engineer. Something like that. And it requires a tedious, you know tedious? T-E-D-I-O-U-S. A tedious task. Meaning a heavy task. That's also journalism, right? Tedious meaning a very requires too much effort, okay, to do that. Okay, it's not easy to pass. Something like that. Go. Okay, going back. So two moles of nitric acid plus one mole of water is equal to one mole of nitric acid plus two moles of nitrate, right? And we still have to balance the hydrogen atoms, right? It's not enough. Of course, masoko gets hydrogen if it's such a balance. We can balance the new one. balance the non. Okay, we need to balance the hydrogen. Okay? Okay. Hydrogen in a reactant is found only in the water. So, 2 times 1. So, 2. Okay. In, net, in the other side product, we have only hydrogen in the nitric. So, hydrogen. So, 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Like that. Which is imbalance or deficient. It's in the product. So, you have to put X beside nitric, a known atom. So, algebra. 
So we'll say, okay, there's no water in the nitrate, right? Or there's no hydrogen in the, in the nitrate, sorry. So you will say directly, 2 is equal to x, okay? Like that, x. Why x only? Because there's no subscript also of hydrogen in nitric acid. So nothing, right? So then x or x times 1 is empty x. And there's no also hydrogen in the nitrate, so you will not include that in your balance chain. Something like that. So without any further ado or without any further complication, automatically, straightforward, your answer will be equal to 2. So 2 is equal to x. So we have two atoms of hydrogen in the nitric acid. So put that 2. Remove the x, change that with 2. Oh, ganon. Oh, manakatanan. Oh, the finish. Complete all the balancing. And we need to rewrite now. So, 2 moles of metric act. Hello. Sorry, guys, ha. Ako yung explain okay? This is very relevant, mga good guys. Why we can come up with a nitrite in which this nitrite can produce nitrosamine, which is carcinogenic. Okay, so we need to understand the chemical reactions. Why? Okay, because this uh, hot dog, bacon, uh, you know, whatever, meat have nitrates mangoes up due to the preservatives. You get the point? You get the point? Anak siya. So, ano na to? So, 2 moles of nitrate is equal to 1 mole of water. Okay, is equal to 2 moles of nitric acid. Okay, plus. 2 moles of MO2. Then you may question why. So, Sotero, if we have a hot dog, we eat hot dog, for example, and we drink water after eating the hot dog. So, we have now the nitrate. And then the nitrate will go to the, our digestive system for the digestion, right? Or the chemical reaction will be there. And you said, Sir Sotero, that we can produce nitric acid. Really, Sir Sotero, we need to Yes, we need to produce nitric acid. Because this is also to help to broken down the fatty substances inside our body. Like that. And this will go to our urine. Okay? So that's why urine are having salts. Most of them are also have nitrates. Okay? You get the point. So magbunka-bunka. So the nitrates will be produced there will be uh, spreading. Some, some will go to the the urine, some will go to the liver, something like some will go to the, you know, to the bowel, some will go to the, so there will be distribution na. Some will go to the kidney, something like that. So, the cancer will be developed because, you bowel, diba? So, bowel cancer, maybe the nitrates will most come there, okay, during your too much nitrates when you uh, eat uh, meat, bacon, meat loaf, beef loaf, okay, the nitrates there will go directly to the, to your bowel, okay, because too much naman siya, okay, you got the point, ana, okay, so we have like that, so plus two moles of nitrate here, okay, what is the purpose of nitric acid here, it's not the same as the nitric acid we found in the chemical laboratory, that it is concentrated, this is not only, uh, this is more on diluted nitric acid, that it leads us to survive, okay, this is not the same as the nitric acid we found in the chemical laboratory. This is the nitric acid produced in our uh, normal chemical reactions inside our immune system. Okay? Maybe or wondering also, La, you really search the remember that? Yes, we have that inside our body. Okay? You get the point, but not in the very concentrated amount. Just like, uh, uh, you know, sulfuric acid. We have also diluted sulfuric acid. Okay? And we have also phosphoric acid, okay? I think all of our acid, inorganic acids, we have in our body, but the most common is the hydrochloric, hydrochloric acid we have in our digestive system. But I'm telling, but what I'm telling, emphasize to you, we have this kind of inorganic acid, but it diluted portion due to the water content we drink every day, so not concentrated. So it's not really that toxic, it's not harmful because diluted, mention more on the solvent, not on the concentrations. You get the point. You can never not on the solute. Okay, solute and solvent, by yabi na siya. Okay, you get the point. Kung nga pala ka ang hitag. So, 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 pero meron namin tayo kung ano, sulfuric acid. Guys, we need to also drink soft drinks, right? And soft drinks also have something like uh, acids there. You get the point? And for example, uh, if you expose also to the sun, and then the sun have phosphorus. Sun. The, the, the ray, the light of the sun have phosphorus. It will go to your skin pores. 
na it will be converted to phosphoric acid inside our body also. You get the point? Phosphoric acid na. Okay, so more na natin phosphoric acid po. Okay, ganun siya. What else? So many acids, guys, na mag-intake na ito siya. But in a, uh, you know, in a diluted amount lang siya. Hindi concentrated because it's dangerous if it is concentrated. Okay, or else, mga sulog ang atong mga vital organs. <laughs> Imagine, ang taas ni concentration ng mga sulfuric, mga phosphoric, mga nitric. So, we will die because our vital organs will be burned. So, meaning to say, that is already the enough and adequate acid needed to the normal chemical reactions inside our body. Okay, make a point. So, this is the nitric acid na. Okay. Na itong i-balance mga talaga kumitan. Okay. Final balancing. Nitrogen. Ganun-ganun. Di ba? Pila mo na yung mga nitrogen palangga. So, 4. 2 plus 2, 2, 4. 2. So, natin ba? Kuha nga 2. Okay. So, this is, if this is not balanced yet, nasa tayo kita huwag ko, rebalancing to the next level. Wow. Yes. Natin nga lang, guys. Okay. So, 2 is equal, 2 times x is equal to Okay, 2 plus 2, right? So 4. So x is equals to 2. Then therefore, we can say, we put on to the x, so 2 times 2 is equals to 4, so 4, the 4 and the shot. So 4 moles of nitrate. Okay. Ganon. I do the math, not the trial and error, ha? Okay. So, ano na yun? So 4 mo, balas ang nitrogen. Oh, di ba? How about the oxygen, mga palangga, kung hitan? Oh, oxygen... 3 times 4, 12, plus oxygen plus 1, 15. Oh, here, 6, oh, 2 times 4, 6 is 10. So, hindi na po kayong balance ni mo. So, ano na yung ka? In fairness, mga palangga kumitan. So, 12, okay. Nag, nag, ano ka? Nag-rebalancing na ta sa second level. Okay, why? Because we are not yet balanced completely. The technique here, guys, is to be patient. Patient, you will never stop. You will never retreat, you will never surrender if you did not yet get the answer. So that's the technique of balancing of chemical equations because normally some students will stop because to the complexity of the chemical reactions, they lose the hope to continue. You get the point? And then they will be, uh, uh, you know, struggling and there's no a lot of complication in their minds and then I can't wait, like that. So the, the technique really is to be patient, okay? Just like driving, you have to be patient in the traffic areas. It's just like that. Okay? So, we need to do that. Okay. So, 12. Nakakaluka. Kaya, 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 guys. Fairness. Ay! Ay, kaya, 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 Okay, you got the point? Ako. Okay. Mga palang akong hitad. Okay, never mind. Today's holiday for me. I'll never have work, so you can have uh, maximum vlogging. Okay, so four times two is twelve. Okay, so one is equal to. Okay, can oxygen na kung ipang ni mo pani ini gay na. So two times three is six, and then four deficient. So it's gonna be two x right here. So two times x ganon. So, 2 times 2x is equals to 4x. Okay. The technique here, guys, is you don't have to eliminate and destroy the normal arrangement of our first balancing. You just add something. Do not remove the change yet. Okay? Like that. So, ala, algebra, right there, you know? In fairness. So, we have 12 plus 1 is equals to 13. Mm. Equals to 6 plus 4x. So, again... This is a very, you know, linear algebraic equation. So 6 plus 4x is equal to 13. 4x is equal to 13 minus 6, right? Yeah. So 4x is equal to 7, right? 13 minus 6 is mm, 7, right? And then x is equal to 7 over 4. Oh, this is now the, the difficult part of the students. If they encountered a fraction, they will also be confused. Don't be afraid with the fraction. The improper fraction. So, what, what is an improper fraction? Elementary math. Improper fraction are those fractions in which the numerator is larger than the denominator. Uh, 
Uh, what is a numerator? Numerator is written at the top. Okay. Denominator is written in the bottom. Something like that. In the fraction. So in proper fraction and proper fraction. Here we obtained in proper fraction because the numerator is larger than the denominator. So we have 7 over 4. Now, put the 7 over 4 in your x here. Because it's, this is the one you are known for. 7 over 4. Don't touch yet the 2. Okay. So that I will teach you the next step. So, it's going to be spoon feeding. Huh? One time only spoon feeding. Okay. The rest will be history. Okay. So that we will learn. Okay. Like that. Guys, I told, I will tell you, this is very, very important if you take chemical engineering and best chemistry. Because this is our foundations really. Balancing the chemical reactions starting from the first year college up to fifth year college, especially also in chemical reaction kinetics or chemical reaction engineering, a subject that deals most of the times the rate of chemical reaction. How fast and slow the chemical reaction really is. That is a subject known as chemical kinetics or chemical reaction engineering. That would be in the fifth year college. And be careful. You should master the chemical reaction starting from the first year college to the fifth year college. Though we understand also that we don't have sometimes chemical reactions in the unit operations, not really that involved. But what I mean really, the heart of chemical engineering is a chemical reaction engineering. It's not the unit operations. That's the point. Again, chemical engineers, the heart of chemical engineering is chemical reaction engineering or chemical kinetics as Mr. George Davis said. Because George Davis is the father of chemical engineering. Okay? The father of chemical engineering is Mr. George Davis. He said the heart of a chemical engineering study is the chemical kinetics. Meaning to say, we should be at least be brilliant in the nuclear reactor principle. Nuclear reactor or a chemical reactor principle, katong mga rates, rates, rate determining step, zero order, okay, first order, second order, rather than focusing more on the unit operations. Because for the fact that it is the heart of chemical engineering is chemical kinetics, how to design a nuclear power plant, it's going to be the center of the chemical engineering. For example, the center of a cement industry also is the kiln processes. Okay? Because it is really the, the place where the burning takes place at a higher temperature. You get the point? Kiln. K-I-L-N. Okay? It's the same also with chemical engineering. The center also focusing in the chemical reaction engineering. Okay. And thanks be to God, I don't to focus on unit operations. Though my unit operations are not very high. Okay. And it's really true. Okay, when I talk about examination, a lot of, you know, chemical reactions there in the third day, the chemical engineering examination. Okay, now, we have here four moles of nitrate plus one mole of water is equal to two moles of water. Over by the way. Water is equal to two moles of nitric acid plus two moles of nitrite originally times seven over four. Okay? So, again, elementary math. 2 times 7 over 4, how much? Atong jiming toki on. Whether complicated, simple, or not, let's give justice so that we can understand. So, 2 times 7 is equal to 14, right? And then over 4. Okay? Now, take note, guys. Some students, even me before also, Really, I confess that to you in elementary. Okay? I will say, <laughs> sometimes, mga kami guys, 2 times 7 over 4. So, na, I will multiply also this 4 to 2 and but then add 7 to the numerator. It's not like that. It's direct because this is multiplication uh, distribution rule. You will directly multiply 2 times 7 over 4, the numerator only. It will become four, 2 times 7 is equal to 14 over 4. Ganun lang. Really, okay? So, 14 over 4 is shot. Okay? And then, you will see 
the least common denominator. If you try to see even numbers from the numerator and the denominator, if you found out, all are even. Oh my gosh, there will be a common denominator or the least common denominator, the LCD. If you can remember our elementary math, LCD, least common denominator. This is not the liquid crystal display, LCD also in the laptop or in the mobile screen or the, in the flat screen. That's also another definition of LCD, right? Liquid crystal dis display of the screen or the monitor. That, that, uh, that also defining the resolution or the brightness of what you see in the screen. But that's another <laughs> acronym. We, LCD here is least common denominator. Okay. So, since 14 can be divided by 2, and 4 also can be divided by 2, so let's say simplify this further. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7. Uh, 14 divided by 2 is 2, so this is 7 halves. Or 7 over 2. You can only use halves, halves terminology also when you are, you are dealing with fraction half. The, in English, so 7 halves, 3 halves. You will never do it if that is not also a fraction half. You get the point? For example, our teacher, elementary teacher before, write a big circle. For example, you have three friends and we need to divide this uh, one circle into three. Uh, three halves, one fourth, one eighth. And then our teacher, and we listen carefully as a kid before, right? And then we, that's the starting point that we understand what this fraction all about by demonstrating our preschool teacher in our kindergarten or let's say elementary. Because me, I did not start with uh, kindergarten. I go directly into grade one. I don't enjoy the I don't enjoy the kindergarten level. I go directly to the grade one. Okay, <laughs> but now parents are starting really with kindergarten. But before, it's not really mandatory to you know to enroll your child in the kindergarten. Before, huh? In eighties, in 80s. now they will really love to educate their children even at a very, 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 very young age years old, four years old. So the world is changing, something like that, due to the technology, and we are now in the computer age as well. That's why Siguro. And then they will also love that their children have so many knowledge at a very younger age, right? And that will be the, the best impact. Why we need to educate our children at a very, very young age is also okay, right? Get the point. Oh, okay, good. So I'm literally talking about another seven halves, three halves, like that. So what I mean, use this terminology only in a fraction. Okay? Mga mga H-A-L-V-E-S, halves. Okay? Seven halves, three halves, ganun The plural of half is have. H-A-L-V-E. Okay? So if there are too many, halves. Oh, that's why I say seven halves, eight halves. Because the denominator is two. Because if you try to take out that one, it's going to be seven times one half. In math, that's like seven halves, eight halves. So there are eight multiplied by one half. So that is halves. Okay. So English, right? Singular and plural. Half and half. Half meaning H A L V is silent L. Okay. In English, we have also so many terminologies that have a silent letter that we don't include that during our pronunciation. Okay. There's a lot, right? Like a Ballet, oh, there's a T there, but we don't emphasize the letter T because that's silent. Okay, if you speak about silent in pronunciation, we, need to, we don't need to include that in our pronunciation. Just like half and half. Okay, so I also insert a little bit of English here, right? So 7 over 2. Okay, now we rewrite our final equation as okay, 4 moles of nitrate is equal to 1 mole of water is equal to 2 moles of nitric acid, okay, is equal to 7 halves, or 7 over 2 nitride. Guys, we need to eliminate the fraction in a chemical reaction because that is uh, temporary or elementary, uh, yeah. The final chemical reaction have no fraction involved. Take note. Final chemical reaction have no fraction involved. Because if there is still fraction involved, that means instable or unstable, that not yet stable at all. 
And by principle also, it's not also necessary to have the fraction. It should have be complete the whole number. Okay? As you can see, most of the chemical reactions, take that in your, you get a chemistry book now, try to scan that. If you can really meet a, an equation, always have a fraction. It's nothing. Or there's a less, but not in the final chemical reaction because that's still unstable or elementary reactions, meaning not yet the final. Okay, chemical reaction. You get the point? Okay, so there's no also fraction number of mole. It's always perfect figure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Up to nine only. Okay, and the rest, double digits, double digits, are impossible. That's only possible for most of the organic compound, just like gasoline. Right? Gasoline is an octane family. Octane family in the organic chemistry under petroleum. Right? And then this is very important to run your vehicle or a car or a private car. Now, it will never run if your carbon atoms will never reach, will never reach to 8. Okay? It requires you 8 atoms of carbon to run your car. Again, it requires you to have eight atoms of carbon to run your car. Because the formula of gasoline is eight atoms of carbon and hydrogen 18 atoms. Why hydrogen so many atoms? Because hydrogen is lighter than carbon. Okay? Carbon is heavier than hydrogen. Normally, it will spread the hydrogen too much in your chemical reaction structural group. Now, so if you have like this, so you have a huge number of subscript of hydrogen. This is the time when you can meet a chemical reaction that the coefficients are so high. 24 moles of blah, blah, blah. That's purely all organic. That's a combustion reaction inside your engine. Uh, for example, if you, put, if you put gasoline, then I will show you the chemical reaction in your, inside the, you know, internal combustion engine. So that is uh, from chemical energy converted to uh, mechanical energy, okay, like that. So the chemical there is the gasoline or diesel or petrol. Basically, diesel and petrol will have an eight atoms of carbon, basically. Okay, like that. And then after that, it will try to, to move the accessories there in your internal en the mechanical energy in the shop. Okay, and that's the time we will produce carbon dioxide and water in your combustion products. Meaning, you are dealing with complete combustion, not the incomplete because you did not produce a carbon monoxide in your product. The identification of an incomplete combustion is the presence of the carbon monoxide in your reactant or in your raw material. But in that case, you run your car, there's no carbon monoxide at all, right? Because it's complete, okay? Unless the, your internal combustion engine has so many leakages there in the parts by parts, then that's the time carbon monoxide will be. But it's assuming that you have a perfect, there's no leaking, or there's no leakages of the gas, you know, whatever, okay? <laughs> You know what I mean. Okay, then there's no problem of carbon monoxide. Because carbon monoxide can cause death. Okay, if you are trapped inside a car. Okay, so be careful also with the carbon monoxide. That's why you need to check your car all the time that it is really not having no leakages. So that it will perform a complete combustion. Not an incomplete combustion because in incomplete combustion, the carbon monoxide will occupy anywhere and then badly it will go to your uh, inside your front seat and then you will be trapped because you lock the, the, the car and you will die by the presence of the carbon monoxide. Get the point? Because it is deadly gas. More deadly than carbon monoxide. Oh, no, than carbon dioxide. It's just the same as uh, H2S. These are deadly gases. The carbon monoxide and that hydrogen sulfide or the H2S at a very minimal level. Okay, you get the point. You get, so be careful also with the carbon monoxide. You get the point. You just check, check all your fuel gauges before you run your car. Okay? Monoxide mga health hazards and chemical hazards involved prior to drive your car. Okay? Ganon.
And that is with respect to the internal, internal point of view, because that is not external, right? So, in a way, that's hazard, right? Okay, now we show you the 72. No, what is our purpose here is to eliminate the denominator. Okay, so multiply, again, math na sa siya, guys. Ano siya, guys? Because math, you have to multiply for something so that we need to simplify so that we can come up with a figure, whole figure na talaga siya. So in this case, we need to multiply by 2. So that we can cancel the 2 in the denominator, in the denominator of the 7 over 2. Now, you multiply everything, okay, not only in one side. Because some students also will multiply only the product. If you do this rule, apply that to the reactant and to the product, everything will enjoy the number you will multiply. Because this is distribution, multiplication rule in algebra. Okay, so 8 moles of nitrate plus 2 moles of water is equals to 4 moles of nitric acid is equals to uh, cancel cancel 7 moles of MO2 okay guys I told you okay this is also another requirement uh, another understanding if you keep on balancing for the third time for the fourth time and then you did not get the balance equation the only problem in that maybe you are having the incorrect products okay you are having the incorrect products be sure that you have the correct products before you balance so that you will never have a problem in your balancing of equation because you keep on balancing that for how many times it will never be balanced because in the first place your products are not correct you get the point mm -hmm. so so we can prove because there's no books here, this is only based on my uh, no, stock knowledge. Maybe I will be wrong, right? Okay. And I vlog, I vlog also on the spot. I mean to say, I did not prepare something to do this. So let's check. This is not basing on the you know stock knowledge. Okay. Get the point. Because if you study by heart, when you are still in elementary, high school, and college, if you study by heart and understand well, you can accumulate your learnings for how many years? Really, it was stuck to your brain cells. You can still remember the formula of acceleration. You can still remember the formula of density. But it depends also the, the mental capability of the individual. But more or less, it could be retained in your brain cells. Okay? Because not also are given by God the, you know, the intelligence level as high as the others also. Okay, but what I'm trying to emphasize, if you understand what you are memorizing, the chance is you can still remember. Okay, like that. That's the point. Okay, that's why it, it's not good to memorize plainly. You have to understand before you memorize. Okay, Gansha. Okay, now, I know what the final here. Is this balance? Okay, I must be right here. 8 moles of nitrate plus 2. Ang nitrate is this nitrate is coming from the hot dog or on the bacon. Okay, that will be 8. We eat. So 2 moles of water. Okay, so 4 moles of nitric acid plus 7 moles of nitrite. Now, this nitrite will become now our preservative component of a preservative. So we need to see all foods and drinks have this preservative. Nitrite is always there. Okay? If you try to have an evidence by experimental analysis or chemical analysis, uh, cut the sample and go to the laboratory or the chemical laboratory and then you can exactly get the amounts of this nitrite. Okay? Because we cannot see the nitrite in the food. You cannot see but the amounts can be detected through laboratory experimentation through various types of could either be conventional chemical analysis or the traditional chemical analysis. So there's a lot of way how to do to test the presence of these elements or compounds. Okay, the only way to do that is to get a sample. Okay? Get the point to validate our you know our philosophy. Philosophy means our idea our statements okay the point 
Ganon. So, para sa atin siya mga kalangka, let's check. <laughs> Ganon talaga. Okay. Nitrogen ain't mga kalangka kung hitad. Oh, di ba? Nakakaloka. And then, hydrogen. Pila man yung hydrogen mga kalangka kung hitad. Okay, nitrogen. Ah, oh, oxygen na ta. Oxygen 2 plus ano? 3, 8 times 3 guys, 24. Plus 2, 26. Ta. Oxygen 14 plus 12, 26 siya. Okay. And then, hydrogen balance pa siya mga kalangka kung hitad. Yes. Hydrogen balance siya. Okay. Balance siya. Okay. Balance ang hydrogen. Oh. Ang oxygen balance po, no? Oxygen 2 plus 24, 26. Oxygen 12 plus 14. Ang nitrogen balance ba? So, 7 plus, ang sabi siya? 4, 11. Okay. Now, we have here, nitrogen is only 8. What we will do? Again, we opted to balance it again, right? For the third time. And in this case, guys, we, it happens that we have a complicated chemical reaction. The main reason for this is I don't prepare, I don't spread it out, okay, in my vlog, so that I can go directly, so it took me a long time. Okay, that's the first issue. Second issue here is we have a very complicated uh, formula here that undergoes hydrolysis and neutralization reaction through organic Uh, compound, something like that. Okay, get the point. So now you have been in uh, three atoms of nitrogen. Asa nito ko ang three atoms of nitrogen? Okay, so let's do the option first. First option. Ngayon din ko sa sa college, guys. Okay, first option. Ganon. My first option will be since we have only a remaining balance of nitrogen. It could either be, there's still three atoms of nitrogen in the atmosphere that could be released. Something like that. That's the first thing. So you will add N2. So plus N2. Like that. You get the point? So this is our first option. Second option is to balance again. Ano na ka sa balance again to make it sure. Okay, gilain sa kaya bulit. So ito sa second option. Okay, ganon. <laughs> okay. So, ang third anak, guys, ang may tago na nang higay yun na, guys, ang third ito anak, guys, no? Is, you are having an incorrect product. Okay, ang last anak, kung hindi siya ma-solve after all, and after another assumption will be done. Okay? And the last, if you don't know, and that's the time you consult the, the Google, okay, your books, It happens only that I did not know. This is on the spot kasi. Okay, you get the point? So like that. Okay, so 8. We have 3 now, 8. Missing siya, no? So 8x is equal to... Gano'n, gano'n, chuba, chuba, chuba. So 11. Oh. X is equal to 11 over 8. Oh, Kung nasa 11 over 8, gari ari. Nakakaloka. O, di ba? Oh. 11 over 8 man siya. Ganon. Ganon. Ang nitrogen na siya, guys, ha? Ay, ginagtin yung uban. Yung may labot. Diba? Nitrogen mo natin i-balance. So, don't touch the others. So, 11 over 8 times 8. That is 88 over 8. Nitrate. Plus 2 moles of water. Is equals to 4 moles of HNO3. Plus 7 moles of nitrate. Now, so, 88 divided by 8. That is 11, right? So, 11 nitrate plus 2H2O is equals to 4HNO3 plus 7NO2. Ganon. I-balance mo ang nitrogen. Balance ang nitrogen. Balance nitrogen. Oxygen. Nakakaloka. Mga talaga kong hitad. Okay. 